Hey everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a, another quick little project share. Um, I made some Happy Mail buckets and they are, as you might be able to tell, um, Halloween themed. So I originally had this idea for some Christmas mail that I was planning uh, to make this year, but when I went to Target, I saw that they had some of these buckets in the uh, dollar spot there, so I decided, since they were cute, I was gonna grab a couple and make some Halloween Happy Mail buckets as well as Christmas later on this year. So um, yeah, I think that they turned out really, really cute, and they might be a little bit hard to show you just because it is something that kind of stands up on its own, and um, I'm gonna have to like tip it and kind of move it around for you to be able to see what it would look like um, head on. But I think that they are super cute and they are pretty self-explanatory to make, um, which is why I'm not filming a tutorial on it and just showing you a project share, because it's basically just a little bucket um, and then you stuff it with any type of Happy Meal or goodies. So um, super easy to make. Once I had the buckets and put everything inside, it took about like 20 minutes. Um, granted, I did have the little loaded bags made already. So I'm just going to show you what both of them look like, and then I'm going to disassemble them so that you can see everything that I decided to include. Um, it is pretty much the same goodies in each um, bucket, but just kind of different um, colors or patterns, stuff like that. So. This is what the first one looks like. It just says trick or treat, and it's just an orange bucket. I added some um, orange curling ribbon and some sequin trim to the little handle here. And I just think that it looks super cute. So this one has more like of an orange tone, orange theme to it. And then this one has more of a black um, theme to it. So um, the little bucket says Happy Halloween and it has a cute little jack-o'-lantern and some diamond shaped polka dots which I just thought was adorable. And again, same thing I did on the other one, added some orange curling ribbon and some gold sequins. So yeah, now I'll just um, take them apart one by one and kind of show you what I put into them. So I first added some wands. So um, I just made these pinwheels myself using the Hocus Pocus paper pad from Michaels. And then I had these um, black and white striped paper straws already and I just made a little flare using a one inch epoxy sticker and a one inch circle punch. So I just punched this out of the paper pad and then just adhered it all together and I just think it's a cute little decorative piece. I also made some little treat boxes. This is using the We Are Memory Keepers um, candy box punch board. I got that at Tuesday morning about a month ago and it's perfect for Halloween. So inside of here, I just put two little um, fun size uh, candies. So I think that's a nice little thing to include. I also added some pencils, so I just added the old-fashioned uh, standard pencil. This is from the Dollar Tree last year, and this one has some jack-o'-lanterns on it. And then I also included some of the push-up pencils that are from Target this year. I'm also including a skull bracelet in each. So I've had these bracelets for years. Um, I don't even know how many, but I got them at Michael's years ago when they were like 10 cents a piece because um, they were clearancing them out. So I grabbed just, you know, like a handful. So I'm including a little bracelet in each bucket. So I think some of the goodies I included um, could work for kids. I know a lot of like my pen pals have kids. So I like to kind of include stuff that if they won't necessarily, uh, necessarily like it, uh, their kids can still use it. In this one, I also added a roll of washi. This washi is from the 
three for a dollar bin at Michael's and um, they have just a ton of washi there that could be for like any occasion and then they have like Christmas and Halloween some Valentine's Day ones so this is just us a little um, some little witch feet which I think is super adorable I also added this teeny tiny little jar of sequins these jars are in the Halloween section at Michael's. You get 10 for like $6.99, so definitely use a coupon if you want to pick these up because I do not think they are worth um, $7. So, but super cute. I just used some sequins from Michael's as well as uh, the Dollar Tree, I believe. So got some little ghosts and bats in there. And then the main Happy Mail piece is this mini loaded Halloween bag. Um, I do have a process video on how I made these bags. I will leave it linked down below in the description box if you want to check them out. The only thing I added to the bag was a little um, clip from the Target Dollar Spot that I picked up after I made these. Just as a little extra goodie to include. And then inside of the bucket I added some black and white crinkle paper as well as some spider sequins which are from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree um, I got them last year so just added that in here just as a little bit of decorative fun it also makes a nice little cushion um, for all the goodies so nothing gets kind of lost or misplaced in there so the other bucket is pretty much filled with the same stuff i'll just go through it quickly in case anyone wants to see what that one looks like in more detail so this one as you can tell is definitely more orange themed um, i think that they are both cute so, um, yeah, again, we have a little wand that I made. This one I used, um, I punched out a little cat from the paper pad, which I think is super adorable. And then again, a little candy box. I really like this paper. Um, I just like kind of how busy it is and all the different Halloween um, images are on it. A skull bracelet this one is plain white while the one I added in this one has some like gray shading on it added a pencil this one has some candy corns and then two of those push pencils so the push pencils pack comes with four different designs so I just put two in this one and two in the other one this is the washi tape I'm including in this one since this one is more orange. Um, this is just some orange washi with some different sized bats on it. Again, a, another little sequins bottle, pretty much identical to the other one. So I think in this one I added more little black stars. And then here is the um, loaded bag I included in this bucket and like the other one I just added another clip from the Target Dollar Spot this year this one I just added a pumpkin and I just think that it looks so cute and fun and again uh, with the black and white crinkle paper and then the spider sequins in here as well so I think that this um, happy mail idea is really fun because it's kind of like a little, uh, it's like a loaded envelope or hoop, but like a little bit more. Um, doesn't make any sense, but I just think it's fun. Um, and this would definitely work really nicely as a treat box um, for your coworkers. Like I said, um, you would just add, you know, different things because um, this one is more obviously catered towards Happy Mail. Uh, but I think it would look cute for anything so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video 
um, let me know in the comments down below if um, you would ever, you know, want to make something like this. I think for Christmas it would look especially cute, so I'm super excited to um, pick up some Christmas buckets from Target this year. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.